All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Bronze 2 Master Series on the NA server, guys. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to beat the Riven versus Irelia matchup. Um, this is also against Silver 2 players currently. We are currently in Silver 4 and we're playing in Silver 2 and 3s. So that's currently the standing. Now, for this matchup, I would definitely recommend going for Conquer as the main keystone, just as always. Um, and then also take Transcendence with Gathering Storm. And the reason for that is because we're going to outplay her through extended Qs. So I highly value taking Transcendence here. Uh, you could also technically run Boneplate against this matchup and then be perfectly fine. In fact, have a really strong laning phase. Um, but personally, me, I love Transcendence in this matchup. I'll show you why. Also, quick reminder for the people that are new to the series. I'm playing with 130 ping, so... Hopefully, that's not going to mess too much with the matchup. This guy plays pretty aggressive. So, level 1. Ever since Aurelia has received a rework, her level 1 is incredibly powerful. So, most of the time, you just want to give her the level 1. She will actually beat you very, very hard if she does it properly. I've been experimenting a lot in the matchup, and... Oh, actually, she hit the one. She appears to be super strong in level 1 now. Oh, we missed that one. Okay, sure. We're going to try to slow push this wave into her right now. Nice. She will go for the CS here as well. We can probably get a kill here. She missed her stun, so she will die. There we go. So this matchup is mainly about getting the slow push into her. And then directly sidestepping her shield. I mean, her shield. I mean, her stun. When you get the chance, right? Um, I'm mainly talking specifically about... Her E, and then all that she has left is her W. So if she uses her E, let me explain again. If she uses her E, and she has no passive up, that's where you kill her. So it's all about her passive and her E. If you miss, if you dodge it, you win. That's why this. Okay, they have a Hecarim jungle, so we gotta be a little careful about this. Definitely not going to give her a chance to, to dash over there. Hold the wave a little bit. Okay. Learn from your mistakes. Now we can relax here. So yeah, we're going to be chilling out here. We're going to wait for Aurelia to move up. Back off. Every time she goes for a creep, we're going to be there to trade her. Nice one. I don't have my abilities right now, so that's an issue. Hmm. Sure. There's a hacker on top side. Uh, yeah, he's cleaning my ward, so he might still be here. Yeah, Hecarim is still here. Good. We have a nice freeze here. This Hecarim wants me pretty badly. Wow. He's literally standing in my lane. I don't know how how badly you want me, Hecarim, but this is crazy. What is this? <laughs> He's standing in in the lane, just taking and absorbing the XP from Aurelia. Okay, let's get back. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, he's gonna die. Yep. Oh, he's actually alive? Wow. That's pretty impressive. I thought he was gonna die to... to uh, if, if Akshan wasn't gonna get him, I thought that the uh, Jonah was gonna get him. Wow. Okay, let's get back. Um, in terms of farm, surprisingly enough, Aurelia is actually ahead of us. With like 9 CS. 
impressive. Um, in terms of XP, we are definitely ahead of her because of uh, what Hecarim did. So I'll see if I can get the advantage here. Yeah, the XP is now the problem here. I mean, the the fact that she's ahead in farm is a problem here, I mean. Place a ward down. That's a Wait, what? Place that one down. Okay. So she placed the control ward down when I get a push. Sure. So whenever Aurelia gets the passive off and she is at level 6, uh, you actually don't want to fight her. You just want to avoid Aurelia as much as you can. Um, specifically when you get the wave close to your tower, which is around here, uh, you can actually beat her quite easily. I'll show you. So whenever the wave is like pushed in like this, you just want to avoid her because she's obviously way stronger than you are. Nice. I think that she might even backport after this one. I think. I think she might will. Let's see. Oh, I actually wanted to queue into her. I hope that she's going to stay. Because that would actually make me win the lane here. Yeah, she decides to stay. Great. Okay, if she stays like this... Now I stand a fair chance against her, because now I can slow push the wave into her and get an advantage. He's going to probably E the creeps here. Hakurim is currently in bot lane, so we don't have to worry about him. Sure. He's probably going to press E. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. It's alright. I think I'm just gonna leave her the way it is. I'm not gonna... Um, I'm not gonna mess with her right now. I was actually thinking about diving her. But if she gets like a couple cues off, it's gonna be pretty bad for me. Um, let's go for this. I'm just gonna take the raw damage right now. Yeah, if I was actually going to die for really, I could technically kill her with one combo there. Uh, I was thinking about that because she used her W. Um, but if she uses her Q to dodge my entire combo, she would heal off the creeps and then she would live. So I'm not going to take the risk. That would completely depend on how bad she is. And I always play in the sense that people are good. So I don't make those mistakes, right? I think I'm probably going to push down this wave with the intention to maybe roam mid. Uh, maybe we can actually get a kill in auction if he somehow messes up. It seems to go pretty badly for my team so far. Uh, let's see if he just blow up. I hope I can get this blue buff without Hacker. Yeah, okay. Hacker is ball in. Nice. So, Master Yi is playing it mostly around balling so far, but it's not really succeeding for him. Master Yi is actually the guy feeding the most right now. So, we don't have a. We can at least not have a Jonah this game. He's, I think he's going to be pretty useless. Just gonna have to rely here on us. He's gonna take the push. Sure. My spirit is not okay. Lost. Now we can chill out here. See if we can get take like a little trade. This is probably where we might actually get a kill. It kind of depends on how this guy plays out right now. Okay, now we can kill him. Yes, he is down. Yep. That's where we finally kill him. So ultimately, it came down to, once again, like I told you before, um, if you play against Aurelia, it's mainly all about sidestepping the E. 
And once E goes down, you instantly kill her, right? The E is where she becomes super strong. If she hits it, you're dead. But if she if you dodge it, you win. And of course, it's mainly also comes down to how far ahead you are, of course. And plenty of other things, but mainly this is what it's about. Okay, let's go back to base here. And we're going to buy the Gorchinker. Please don't check this. Okay. Awesome. Oh, I was going to TP to that, actually. Uh, I actually want to pick up a longsword. Whoopsie. My bad. It's fine. Hecarim is currently in bot lane, so I don't have to worry about him. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to push this out. Nice. Perfect. I'll take down this jungle camp right now. So we're, we're going to have to create a lead against Aurelia. The bigger, the better. Um, if we can't actually catch her, then we just have to farm this up. Nice. Okay, back to lane. So she pushes it out, so I can just farm it up as well. We're level 10, this guy's level 9. But I think he's mainly going to avoid us for the most part. I think I might actually push the next wave and then probably reset. Uh, Hecarim is currently right behind me, so... Yeah, right. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Interesting one. Wow. We're about to get 1v3, I'm pretty sure. And let me check. Well, they're full AD, so we're going to go for Steel Caps. That will definitely do the job for me here. Unfortunately, I cannot stay in the lane. Because I know that Hecarim is going to be there. And Yumi as well. So I'm not going to take the risk of getting 1v3 here. Unfortunately, she's going to get plates right now. I'm not happy with this. Oh, actually, she doesn't. Okay, perfect. Would have been pretty bad for me if she actually had um, a lot of plates. What are you doing here? She's back. Choose your own path. You're wasting a lot of time, Mastery. No idea what you're doing. Okay. Unfortunately, we couldn't get so many plates. I wish we had a little bit more plates. I'm going to see if I can maybe get a catch here. Oh, cancel my auto. Sure. Gotcha. Um, Hecarim is also here, so I think we might actually die. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? No, are you kidding me? <laughs> he missed it. He accidentally misclicked. No, I can feel that in my bones, man. If I play Hecarim there, I, I, I would feel it in my bones. <laughs> oh, that's so tilting. I can feel this hacker, man. I feel bad for him. I feel so tilted if I was hacker in there. So I would feel absolutely horrible if I was him. Because that, that kind of stuff happens to me as well sometimes. Actually, in fact, it happened yesterday to me as well when I was playing a different champ for, for a video. <laughs> I can feel it, man. Let's see if we can kill Aurelia here. An interesting question I get. What's the best ban on Riven this season? Uh, I would say... Uh, I gotta think, man. I mean, I would say Renekton, but Renekton is not ban-worthy anymore. But it's still the most ban-worthy, right? 
you could ban Urgot probably. And that would be fine. Because all the other champions in the game, you can perfectly manage in lane when you play Riven. So Urgot's like the only matchup where I would say you can ban it, but even then you can manage, right? Um, Renekton, Darius, although not Darius, but yeah, there's plenty of champs you can ban, but not exactly ban worthy. It's a, it's a hard answer right now. There's a Yumi sitting on Aurelia here. How long is that going to take before my team does something? Let's see. Like, there's two people topside, so... It's inter interesting to see how a Yumi is, like, literally sitting on Aurelia for the whole time straight. Let's see how long they're going to be standing top for. Nice, we got this one. So Yumi is still s sitting top with Aurelia. What? Oh, straight up missing it. Beautiful. Oof. I actually wanted to block all the... The entire ultimate flashing to the tower, but uh, I actually already blocked it. Well, I thought I thought that the ultimate was gonna do like ten times more damage. Actually, I'm not kidding. I really thought Akshay was gonna do so much more, but whatever, man. Is not lost. Hmm. So mastery is trying to fight. Okay. Carler call. A thing for the resub prime of three months, my man. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get back. Hey, thank for the resub of three months, my man. Welcome back to the self family again. Thank you. Uh, let's go for Black Lever here. And I'll slowly start building towards Death Stance. So that I no longer have any issues against Aurelia. Let's go to bot lane. Uh, yeah, these guys are dead. Let's see, does it camp here? Nice. I suppose I could actually TP down there because of the ward, but it's not exactly the best thing to do. It's better if we just sit ball lane and we just push this out. So long I've wandered. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can actually get the camp over here. That could give me a little bit of an advantage. Yeah, great. Alright, I'm happy with that. If I get this camp, it's going to give me a bigger lead as well. I'll leave this camp for... You know, so it doesn't free spawn. So, this Aurelia is pretty smart because she's actually holding her stun. So... Just to see where I'm going to move to. Interesting. Okay, now we can actually back off and we can purchase the... What is this? Oh! <laughs> what? I totally didn't notice Akshan being on me at all, man. Wait, I gotta move up my headset sound a little bit. <laughs> okay, now I can hear better. <laughs> I totally did notice the auction sitting on us. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Now I'm ready and set. Man, this Hecarim is mega huge, man. Nine kills on the Hecarim and six kills on the auction. Poof. These guys are huge.
There we go. So yeah, my team is pretty far behind at the moment. We'll see how that turns out. Ideal 69. Anything for the Sephiroth? Thank you, man. I got you. 1,000 good for me? Sure. I'll take that. Uh, the corner cut failed. Pretty badly. No idea where this guy went. That guy was worth 900 gold. Hey, Ideal, thank you so much for the sub prime, man. Thank you for supporting me. I should want to pick up the blue buff, but... Ah, never mind. Hey, we got like 1,000 gold from Hecarim. That's huge. Let's get the next wave. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be here. So I'll just walk around. Yeah, yeah, Hecarim's going to be here. So, yeah, just like I thought. Well, appreciate it. Ah, my Gorchink was up. I was using it, but it didn't go off in time. Unfortunately. We got a sweet little kill, Noxian. He was actually worth like a lot of gold here, so he definitely made me a lot more fed. I think I'm probably going to go for chainsword here but before i do they have a lot of healing but i still have to get armor like it's pretty important um specifically a guardian's angel would fix the entire situation here although chainsword is useful as well so i think i might go for this anyways uh, chainsword is useful because they have a yumi right we gotta reduce the healing from these guys especially because they they have a i really would blade as well right Gotta get this stuff. Lucian is mega fed, but he's always on the wrong lane. Unfortunately. Uh, maybe I could try to kill this... Auction, maybe? Right, yeah, he's gonna escape. I actually wish I could have a, a little jump off here. Hmm. Oh, yes, yeah, ultimate again. Hmm. So he's gonna get away. Ah, that's uh, yeah, that's even more sad. Okay. Oh, he actually gets to kill. Oh, wow! They both respawn. Wow, we could have done ha we could have done Baron right now if they didn't respawn. That's so sad. Eh, that's so sad. Auction is so unbelievably broken. Every time I see an auction and they revive everybody, I f it feels like so sad, man. The way how this champion is designed is just ridiculous. A champion that can respawn, right? How could they think of something like this? I don't know. Okay. At least Akshan revived those people and they're inting again, so... At least they can int faster, I guess. Awesome. Isaac, hey, thank you for the subprime. Thank you for supporting me, man. A lot of subprimes today from you guys. Thank you for that, guys. Seriously, that means a lot. You have no idea how much that helps, guys. I'm pretty glad that we're getting this one. 
Hey, perfect. Now we're getting super huge. Oh, okay, let's make our way back. We're gonna buy the chainsword right now. And the final item is going to be a stopwatch into a guardian's angel. And that should fix every problem we have. There's another fight starting up at Drake right now. Oh, auction getting kills. My team is going like literally overboard with these guys, man. Sure. Nice, nah, not bad. My team is actually making a great comeback now. What? Oh, oh, what is she doing? She runs it down or something? She straight up just walked in with an ultimate. Okay. Sure. No idea what she was doing. Let's get the rep off. And then we get the, uh, the chicken sapper. Nice. Let's go back ball lane. Ah, perfect. Oh, they're fighting again. Okay, I'll help them out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a Yumi right here. And that's a triple for me. So yeah, as you can see, like this um, this game specifically, we had like a, a, a team which basically ran it down. Well, we've had a big team that ran it down. Uh, in fact, only our ADC actually play well this game. And they were like mega, mega fit. But we still managed to turn easily. So let's take a look and see how much damage we did. And, you know, of course, how much LP we got as well. I'll give it to Lucian for playing pretty good this game. Man, I got a sneeze, but it's like not coming out, right? You know what I'm feeling? Okay, so we got plus 22 LP. We're now Silver 4 with 45 LP. This was against uh, Silver 2 players. Um, in terms of like damage, we got 27k damage done. And in terms of runes, this is what I would recommend if you play against Aurelia. Uh, you could also go for Bone Plate if you really want to, but this is what I like. Now, guys, before we end off the entire YouTube video, just as always, you know, this entire game has been being played live on stream, guys. If you want to see me play live, make sure to check out the link below the YouTube video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.